Next, let's talk about convertible bonds. Just like sinking fund provisions, callable portable bonds, convertible bonds are a type of bond. The convertible bonds are bonds which permits the holder of the bond, which permits the lender who has the bond to the right to exchange the security for the common stock of the issuer's bond. Every issuer can raise money by issuing stock or equity and debt. Consider a corporation XYZ who is present both in the equity market and debt market. They can give additional feature to the debt holders that in case you take our debt, which is a convertible debt, after a certain period of time, you would have an advantage to convert that debt into stock. When these things happen, there's a time period given after which only you can convert that debt. There's a conversion price given, which is the price at which conversion took place. At the time of issuance of the convertible bond, a conversion ratio was set, which means there are a certain number of shares of common stock which a particular holder of debt would get. For example, if someone is holding 10 units of debt, so ratio could be, let's say, 10 is to 100, 1 is to 10, which means for every one debt unit, you get 10 shares. So, which means if he has 10 units, he gets 100 shares. Conversion price. That as I said earlier, conversion price is the price at which conversion takes place. Which means the terms and conditions of the contract would say that when the debt or the price of the bond that the lender is holding, if it touches a particular level, for example, he has taken the debt at 100. So, the issuer says if this price, let's say, goes to 96, then you have the option to convert the debt into equity. This is basically a ceiling or the comfort that the borrower provides to the lender. This basically happens in those situations which gives the advantage to the investor. So, by doing this basically, the issuer is giving comfort to the lender by saying, fine, if the price of my bond falls below this level, you have the option or luxury to convert into shares. And obviously it goes, one caveat which says, which has, says that a particular issuer like XYZ would only issue a convertible bond if its stock market is doing equity, stock is doing pretty well. For example, if it is an equity stock or script is traded at a good price, is doing well in the stock market, is highly liquid then he would issue a convertible bond. Otherwise, if its own equity stock is not doing well, it's not liquid. Then, the whole idea of issuing a convertible bond goes for a toss. So basically, what we've learned here is that any issuer would issue convertible only if its script or equity stock is highly liquid and has good fundamentals, which means it is considered a good company, a good equity script. This is how those issuers or those borrowers who have a highly liquid stock market issuance issues convertible bonds.